Sean Williams' prison sentence is done, but now New York State wants to find another way to keep him behind bars permanently. News 4's Al Vauders is back from State Supreme Court with an update. Al? Well, Lisa, some have called him a one-man AIDS epidemic. But last month, New Sean Williams finished serving a 12-year sentence for rape and knowingly infecting sexual partners with HIV. Authorities, though, still consider him a danger as long as he can infect others. New Sean Williams, also known as Shaitik Johnson, went before a state judge trying to get his freedom, if only for a short time, while family, including his wife, came to show their support. The attorney general is arguing Williams should be held indefinitely under a newly enacted civil confinement law meant to keep sexual predators off the street. The state is basing its claim on a psychiatrist's report that in addition to intentionally spreading HIV, the virus that causes AIDS, Nushan Williams presents multiple risk factors, including a psychopathic condition and attitudes that support sexual offending. There is probable cause to believe that the respondent is a sex offender requiring civil management. Williams' attorney wants the case dismissed and until a state judge decides that he'd be allowed to walk free since he's already served out his prison sentence. But Justice John Mahalski saw it differently. The court hereby concludes that the respondent is sufficiently dangerous to require confinement and lesser conditions of supervision will not suffice to protect the public during the pendency of these proceedings and ordered Williams back to the Wendy Correctional Facility, which sparked a short outburst from Nina Williams, Nushan's wife, and other family members. Are other people um, that's, um, walking around with HIV, are they a threat? You're not questioning that. He is not a threat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You don't need to be committed. Williams is due back in court next month on his motion to dismiss the Attorney General's petition. His case is tentatively set for a civil trial in November. Alvarez News 4 at 530.